takes four. I don't know why, I've just had three false starts. I'm gonna get stuck straight in. Um, it is a Thursday evening. I have been to the cinema um, and I'm here to tell you about the film I went to see. The film I went to see this evening is Bill and Ted Face the Music. So, just on the off chance that you were unaware of who Bill and Ted are, I mean, are you really? Because if you're my age or around that, you should at least have a rough idea. Um, but in case you don't, all the way back in about 1989, I think, 1990-ish, uh, um, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure came out. It was a comedy starring a very young Keanu Reeves and Alex Winter as the Bill and Ted of the title. And they had a history project to do. And their history of knowledge, no, their knowledge of history was somewhat limited. But luckily for them, a dude called Rufus turned up in a phone box and took them travelling through time. Um, the film was a hit, as far as I'm aware. Um, they went through time and space, collecting um, such icons as, um, I think they collected Beethoven, uh, certainly Joan of Arc's in there, uh, Napoleon features, I believe. Um, so yeah, that was the first film. Um, there was a sequel a few years later, early 90s, called Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, um, in which they died and went to hell and then came back. Um, and they're, I guess, cult classics. They're very popular um, with people of a certain age, like my age, late 30s. Um, and yeah, a lot of people have a lot of affection for them. Obviously, Keanu Reeves went on to be um, quite the heartthrob and film megastar still is um alex winter didn't do quite as much i guess so it was announced last year that there was going to be a third bill and ted film and there was a select number of people who were quite excited about this i am certainly one of them um my famous friend um film critic james king was definitely another as he is a huge keanu reeves fan um so yeah i want to see it tonight I don't really feel this film could have come at a better time because if the world needs one thing right now, it needs Bill and Ted. Or rather, it needs what Bill and Ted embody, which is silliness and joy and nonsense and celebrating differences and creativity and music bringing us all together. And I know this sounds really schmaltzy and like I'm trying to attach too much meaning to what is essentially a comedy but it actually was just what I needed tonight and I think like I say it's kind of what we all need is to just have that moment where we get to put aside we have those 90 minutes where we get to put aside all of the stuff we're worrying about which is still a lot um the planet's still knackered there's still a global virus um you know US elections coming up and are we facing four more years of Trump? I know he's not our president, but him being in power does impact on us over here. Um, and to just sit in the cinema is always a joy for me um, to put aside whatever else is going on in my life. But for tonight, to just spend time with these two characters that I first met when I was like 10 years old um, and see them as middle-aged men, to see... You know, Keanu Reeves, who has turned in some cracking performances in his career, he's done action stuff, and, you know, fair enough, he's had some missteps as well, but he's, he's quite well regarded, he's Neo in the Matrix, for God's sake. Um, to see him back in the role of, wait a minute, Ted, um, was just wonderful. You know, it was really lovely to see him and Alex Winter together, and they were obviously having a lot of fun. William Sadler gets a cameo as... Um, death he gets to come back and play death again um the character of rufus um unfortunately isn't in this film and that's because the fantastic actor and comedian who played him in the first two films george carlin sadly passed away quite a few years ago now um they bring in Kristen shawl um as a sort of rufus stand-in she plays his daughter kelly um there's quite a lot of emphasis on father-daughter relationships which obviously kind of gets me in the feels a little bit um, so you have um, both Bill and Ted have got daughters who are in their early 20s um, Bill's daughter is played by the actress Samara Weaving and I know her for two reasons I know her because she is Hugo Weaving's niece 
I know her because she was the lead in Ready or Not, which came out last year, which is an absolutely superb black comedy horror film. Um, if that's your bag, definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. It's so much fun. I believe it's available to stream on Now TV. Um, so she plays Bill's daughter, Ted's daughter. I've just looked up the actress's name and it's gone completely out of my head. So um, I do apologise for that. Um, but yeah, there's some there's some actors reappearing from the previous films. There's um, some great new performances. Um, I don't really want to spoil the plot for you. Yes, there is one. Um, but they need to write that song that's going to bring the whole world together. And it doesn't quite go as planned. As with previous Bill and Ted films, they run into several other versions of themselves. And they really sort of play that up for comic effect in this one. Um it's just it's fun do you know what i mean it's it's not challenging it's not you know particularly thought provoking but it just allows you to be entertained and be amused and like i just slipped back into being with these characters so easily i haven't seen either of the bill and ted films the original two for 15 20 years but i was straight back in there and i just you know embraced it and i had a really really lovely 90 minutes where i laughed a lot and was entertained you know it's not award-winning it's not game-changing but it's fun and actually it's quite nice to just watch something that makes you feel warm and fuzzy and entertained um so if you are a fan of the previous two bill and ted films i think you will absolutely love this um, if you weren't then this film isn't for you but that's okay because we're all different um, so I'm going to encourage you to see it if you can I'm also going to encourage you to be excellent to each other and uh, party on thank you very much Katie out <laughs>